Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. And today, this is going to be a bit of a different video, as you can tell by a laptop laying on my bed. Uh, this is not the standard style video, I'm usually doing more phone, the oriented videos, or something of the sort. Um, usually a little bit better quality than this, but I'm going to go back to my roots, uh, to a degree at least, and we're going to be checking out this Dell laptop. I actually have a video on this Dell laptop. It's a Dell Latitude E... 6410. Um, uh, but uh, since I made that last um, laptop video, uh, the parts have kind of, you know, disappeared from the laptop, which is why we're here today. So today we're going to be uh, reviving this laptop and installing Windows on it. I haven't decided what version I'm going to install on it, but it might be a little daring and install Windows 10. Um, but anyway, now the specs of this computer are decent. It's got a Core i5. Um, I believe it's a 2 some, two point something gigahertz, obviously, dual core, not quad core. Um, so earlier. Of course, it's still a laptop. Um, but over here we have a Hitachi hard drive. I think it might be original to this computer, uh, but not sure. Um, of some sort of gigabyte capacity. Uh, I can't find the capacity of this hard drive, so I guess we'll find out when we boot into the BIOS. We also have a DDR3 2 gigabyte Samsung stick of RAM. I believe there's one or two gigabytes already in this laptop, so I guess without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and see if there is. Here's our power cord. Let's go ahead and plug the computer in right here. Um, I'm actually recording this on my iPhone 10, uh, 4K 60 FPS it should be, so might be a pretty good quality video if it works out. Let's go ahead and power it up and boot into the BIOS here and see what we got. Recognizing all the new hardware. Here we go. Once again, Latitude E6410. Here we go. System information. 3 gigs of RAM. Dual Core i5, uh, dual core, 2.6 gigahertz, 160 gig hard drive. Let's go ahead and go into the boot options here. Well, actually, let's go ahead and grab my Windows 10 hard drive, or um, whatever we call it. It looks like it seems to be booting back up. Perfect. USB storage device. There we go. And this is going to be a pretty daunting task, um, as Windows 10 is probably a little high spec for a very low, I mean medium, mid spec computer. High spec for the time, but um, not sure the exact uh, year this computer came out, but I could uh, maybe put it up in the, uh, well, You'll probably see it on the screen now if I remember to do it or do it. So, anyway, um, it's about the whole computer. It's just a pretty interesting computer. It had this cool uh, Dell something intermedia center button. Here we go. Windows is on here. Let's go ahead and install now. More or less the same setup installation installation as you know, it goes all the way back to Vista, really. And even Windows XP was similar enough. Uh, I don't have a product key at the moment. Um, Windows 10 Home. Would be perfect. Okay, so we made it in. I just put in my Wi-Fi and, you know, what have you. And of Cortana, I had to mute her because it's a little, you know, a bit excessive. But uh, it seems to be running okay. It detected a sound driver, which was uh, pretty good. Or it's, it's playing sound through the speaker, so I'm assuming it detected a sound driver. Um, and in fact, it just uh, let me connect to the internet too, so it's detecting an internet driver. So this is gonna be easy. Wow. Um, so we're in, and um, 
it did a pretty good job with drivers. I'm thoroughly impressed. We got, you know, wireless, a sound all down there together. Demonstrate to you that the sound driver works. In fact, even our sound buttons here work as well, which is a huge plus. Um, Windows 7 couldn't install drivers to this computer at all for some reason. Um, and it's fairly fast. Um, as I say this when I can't right click. Um, I mean, for the computer. Um, once again, the specs are, you know, um, Windows is also not activated. Um, which would beg the question why we don't have an Activate Windows. Um, a little watermark down there. But anyway, I'll uh, go ahead and get that activated here in a second. The key is under this. So anyway, or in the battery. That's about it. Um, might have a, a clip or two. Kind of show you uh, after I download some apps on this computer. But um, I'm thoroughly impressed. Okay, so it's the next day. The lighting's a little bit better. And, uh... I was saying um a lot in my videos last night, so uh, I'm going to try to take this part again. So anyway, um, let's go ahead and kind of boot boot the uh, computer up. I uh, don't know if I talked about this uh, little button up here. This is actually a thing that some of these Latitude laptops had. It was called Dell Latitude On. And it was a uh, second operating system on the hard drive that uh, was a Linux base. Um, cause you know, back when, you know, it took a minute or two to boot the laptop up, uh, you needed, if you wanted to, you know, surf the web for a quick thing, you would just press the latitude on button and, uh, it would boot right up to a Linux based software. Uh, I don't have anything on it right now. I might try to put that up to something. Anyway, let's go ahead and boot it up and I'll show you how long it takes. Um, I might put the service tag in, uh, and uh, if I do, you'll see the specs somewhere on the screen for, uh, you know, to show you kind of what the specs were, or release date was, I don't know, I don't know, um, I could put the specs on the screen now, but maybe, um, of what the computer is now, I can also tell you, um, 3 gigabytes of RAM, Core i5, um, dual core, uh, 2 point something gigahertz, or older Core i5, Let's go ahead and log in here quickly. Okay, so um, here we are. We've logged in. Uh, I have a few applications up here, Chrome, ISO burner. This computer has a DVD RW drive, so I could get a, um, a, write a you know, ISO disk for Windows 7 or what have you. Uh, let's go ahead and pull up some properties up here, which I have already minimized down here. Um, uh, three gigs of RAM, Core i5 M580 at 2.67 gigahertz. So not too bad. 64-bit processor. Windows is activated, so that's all very nice and dandy. We got Windows 10 Pro on here, and I'm I like Windows 10 actually. Um, I love Windows 7, but I like Windows 10. Uh, the only problem with Windows 7 is it's uh, it's getting a bit old, and uh, you know if this computer runs Windows 10 well, why not put it on? I might put an SSD in this computer, partly because I can feel um, the computer shaking a bit more because uh, it has a mechanical hard drive in it and uh, it would run a lot faster with an SSD so if I find a cheap SSD I might put that in there you, you know we all know we got a few preloaded preloaded apps here of course Candy Crush and whatever whatever comes with uh, the Windows 10 install so that's about it a full overview coming on this laptop soon or an updated overview um, which will be made in a much better recording style. So if this is not your style of video, that's okay. Um, but I know this is uh, content for the channel that needs to be up. So that's about it. See you guys soon.